back, so let's... So we're charging here, and watch how easy this is. So he pressed the button, yeah, and it opened the charge press port. The yep. Plug it in. That. Wait for it to go green. And we're charging. That was easy. <laughs> That's the Tesla charging experience. That's it. That's all you got to do. What's up, guys? It's Brandon Flash. We've got my Rivian R1T. We've got Kyle's sister's Q3 behind me. And we've got the Model S long range pulling up. We're headed out to make some videos today with Dave, Kyle, and Rob. And there we have it on the Martian wheels, looking good. I love Santa. I mean, how can you not like Santa, Brandon? I, I mean, we're past Christmas. No, we're not. Christmas is the whole week. Oh. Until the 6th, isn't it? Yeah, at least. You know. I guess. Yes, retailers, it's always. Brandon, if you don't believe, then Santa doesn't bring you presents. Well, I mean, I didn't get any presents, so. Oh, I mean, I guess that adds up. <laughs> there you go. See? I proved my point. <laughs> I've decided that a yoke makes total sense in Florida because you don't turn. Yes. You literally do not turn. What is this car over here? Where? Oh, Where? it's an Audi. <laughs> like half the cars on this island. Yeah, right. No, I thought it was... So we're headed to the Wait, jewel station. the audio first. I don't want copyright strike. Okay, I guess. So Dave, where are we going? Oh, well, listen, right over here behind the Cracker Barrel is yeah. the jewel station, which okay. I want to show you. It's probably uh, still broken. It, it's a really exciting one because it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a nice design, and it's in the letter J. So that's cool. Yeah. Right. I actually saw one of those in 2020. If you're a really old viewer, you would see that in one of my road trip videos through Michigan in my old Tesla, because it was across from a supercharger. I see. Up here is the stop sign that nobody stops at. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's a proven fact. Um, it's not even red. It's so faded. It's crazy. But well, a lot of stop signs on private property actually aren't enforceable. Right. It's not a legit stop sign. Yeah. Well, it's just a suggestion. Yeah, this isn't even a suggestion. This is like, you know, back in the day, look at oh, that stop oh, sign. Oh, wow. That is okay. the worst looking stop that, sign. That's bad. That's like not legit. So here we are at the Comfort Inn and Suites. Okay. And uh, we've got this giant white box over here. Okay. Not the minivan. <laughs> right. Let me and the camera here, here. here. Here it is. This is the, uh, this is the, this is the site. So there it is. Wow. You got it. You got to love those J's. Look at those things. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, I mean, they're not bad. So 180 kilowatt hours. I don't know why they need a box so big, but their power electronics must also be in there. And it's air conditioned, which is cool. So I noticed that actually pretty commonly on some of the switch gear uh, yeah. sites here. get out and look at it? Yeah, let's look at it. So here we have the J's. Got dumb 200 amp cables. Why are they doing this? <sighs> and this giant box. See the data label here. So it can do 350 amps output, 60 amps input. This was built in June of 2022 at 180 kilowatt hour. So it's only getting a 50 kilowatt input. Yeah, this thing is just massive. What, uh, can you just exit out of this really quick? Uh, yeah. I so, love the name of this place, Mikasaki. <laughs> <laughs> so we're rolling up to the supercharger here and we're going to be timing how long it takes for the handshake on a tesla supercharger versus evgo once we go there i think this tesla ran out of charge on the right oh yeah okay. yeah that's never that's the toe of shame yeah so make sure you grab one on the right in the shade dad yep okay but i, I don't think this was here last time i was here no and that this canopy is brand new yeah yeah that is because i was here in a major thunderstorm yeah i've been here in the major i wonder major if they have thunderstorm. i don't yeah they don't have storage either i think that's a tesla car because it's still got all the stickers all over it i think these are solar panels oh yeah they are yeah huh smart Elon. well we're gonna hop out here we're gonna time it and i'll give you a tour of the site as well because tesla's architecture is really cool yeah this is nice i love this canopy so this Model 3 was just dropped off on a tow truck. And the reason it was is the guy ran out of charge coming from Fort Lauderdale area, renting it from Hertz. It's a rental. It's first time in an EV. 
they gave it to him with 56 percent and he didn't make it so got towed in and there he is and here we have this solar canopy but none of it's hooked up you can see the connectors there they're just dangling this must be brand new I think Tesla actually posted a picture of this on their social media. Okay. I didn't know where it was, but this looks like it. And yeah, I mean, this makes sense. So, I want to make a video, right? For my channel. About, no, but didn't you say, what? where are we going to time this? Oh, it's just going to be a small segment for your for your overall. No, I understand, it's but to I can, compare I can, the EVGO auto charge experience. Start, I can start the video here and talk about that. If you want to start the video here and talk about it, yeah, that's yeah. good. Maybe talk about this as... No, this is the Tesla the supercharger the experience, first, right? Yeah, yeah. And it has nothing to do with your auto charger. <laughs> well, what's the theme of this? Video? All right, now we're, we're doing a big session. Oh, this is like <laughs> this is inception here. Nice. Beautiful. But the theme of my video <laughs> is today we're going to be testing what the how fast no, we're setting you up with auto charge plus. That's it. And then we're comparing just the handshake time. Yeah, we're talking about. I've already made a video. You have a different audience. Let them know about it. Okay. Yeah. All right, I got it. All right, so let me put this together here. Wait, you should use a mic because it's windy. Yeah, I don't know where my mic is though. So here we have all the infrastructure for this supercharger site. We've got the transformer here. This is a thousand kVA, I believe. Let's take a look. Should have a label somewhere here. Uh, what? Maybe. Well, most likely 1,000 kVA based on the site size because these are about 360 kilowatts per cabinet. We've got the switch gear distribution cabinet here. And this is 2,500 amp distribution cabinet. So that can actually do four cabinets or potentially even five um, at 100% rated. And here we have three cabinets. So they actually have capacity for more. And like I said, these are about 360 kilowatts piece and we have this brand new solar roof. And if you didn't know, Tesla actually has DC buses between these cabinets that allows them to share power between them up to 575 kilowatts input or output between the cabinets. So that's how they can really manage the site and actually get 250 kilowatts to any of the positions. And there we've got Dave filming his video. <laughs> Service plaza is quite nice, but the superchargers are a uh, bit of a walk over there to get there. Not great in that regard. Well, we had to move stall, so even that does happen sometimes on superchargers. We were only getting about 72 kilowatts on that one, moved over one. Now we're getting 248 kilowatts. Look at that. Perfect. Probably need to charge up to 50 something percent to make it all the way to Miami. Don't want to roll in completely dead. You can see uh, real-time billing accruing there. We're going to head inside and uh, check out there. Because we thought we'd be fully charged by now. We're up to 59% there. Let's see how much that costs. If I can remember where that dang button is. Over here? Charging. There we go. Charging? $8.49. Yeah, that's not bad. What was the price here? It was uh, 33 cents a kilowatt hour. No uh, varying time. Yeah. We're off to Miami. Let's do it. All right. Did it auto shift or did you? What do you mean? Did it auto go into drive? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it it tells you to go reverse when you, if you do that, that's bad. <laughs> no, it doesn't always know the right direction. But so this is kind of a weird setup. Like I would be inclined to just go out that way. I'm gonna do. Okay. I don't know if that's technically how you're supposed to do it, but it's really dumb was, design. Right. That was poor. But now that it's nice and warm, we Ooh, should get over here. Over here are the swamp buggies. You got to see these things. <laughs> what, like air uh, propeller things, no, or what do you mean? No, these are these. This is the police for the. So you can move it around. Here, check the, this out. This is the yeah, coolest. Just, I think it's yours. Okay. This is the coolest oh, thing in here. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Um. Oh, uh, let's see. We're going over here. Yeah, I was gonna say I would not go through that. Suspension first. Okay. These raise the suspension. No trespassing. Okay, I'm not going to go in there, but do you see all those swamp buggies over there? Oh yeah. So check, those are Check those things out. They just go through it basically, I guess. Yeah, it says I'll be prosecuted if I go in there by the <laughs> Missa Missa Mikasaki tribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like that sounds like a bad I, I just 
I don't know. There's a guy. There's a guy back here with a fishnet. Yeah, he's ready to catch us. I, I don't know what is going on there, but. <laughs> what did he, say? Did he... he was pretending to catch us with his oh, fishnet. Yeah. Was? yeah. I, maybe we should interview him. Like about the. Are any of these about swamp the buggy? Are any of these swamp buckies EVs? <laughs> swamp buggies. <laughs> Swamp buggies. You should ask him how many idiot Tesla drivers come back here right. a day. <laughs> well, actually, Dave, you're the first one. <laughs> right. Usually goes, do not go back in there. I like to go in there. <laughs> Every time I come here, I go there. We found the Grinch and we found Santa. Follow them to the FPL EV station. Yeah, they're giving us power. Look at the Grinch. He's really shaking his head. Yeah, he's he is angry. <laughs> <laughs> Powered by batteries. Is it sending me north to go south? Well, we've arrived to the EV Go here. It's uh, the only 350 kilowatt EV Go in Miami. Okay. And that, all of South Florida. That's surprising. Oh, we've got our cabinets all the way over here. Wow, that's a run. Yeah, that is a run for those cabinets. Look at this Lexus. Oh, nice. oh boy. Nice. Stance, bro. The GS <laughs> is a great car. That's interesting. We have an e tron that maybe doesn't understand that they could get faster speeds on I, these. According to the app, these are all down. So this should be interesting, I guess. Oh, you can reserve this charger. Look at this. We've never tried that on the right. Oh, this yeah. charger is now accepting reservations. Am I in the right spot? Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So why don't we get out and see uh, if any of these are actually functioning? Yeah. That's, I think, step one here. We can always do the plug and charge of the other units, so. Yep. Uh, can you grab my door? I think Kyle wants. Yeah. Uh, Gotta open the door for Kyle. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see if these are uh, functioning. These are Ultium ready, so these were built with GM. We've already got a screen failing from the sun. I thought for some reason these would be Delta units, but it's the Cigna installs. Touch to start? Maybe? That's not promising. Oh, here we go. You got yeah. it. EVGO Plus membership. Okay. Pay as you go. And it's still time based billing in Florida, even though you can do kilowatt hour billing. I don't think they do it anywhere. No, they do, and they've expanded outside of California, I think, four more states. Oh, good. Something like that. More of that. Yeah. Well, maybe not. I like my... As a driver, I, it's cheap. Yeah. Okay. I like my cheap charging, but it's not fair. Right, so... Wow, that is a smashed cable holder and a pretty mangled up uh, Chatham out there. I think someone hit it? Yeah, I think someone hit it. It came through? Oh, wow. That's... Almost impressive. Wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me. No. And we've got another screen bubbling here. I think these happen because of reflections off of vehicles or other. So we're going to set up auto charge here. Make sure to check out Out of Spec Dave if you want to watch that. It says every station here, except for the one that e-tron using, uses, is not available. So can we activate it with, oh, we won't be able to set up auto charge. I don't know if we'll be able to, not unless they're, once they're done charging. So I, I have an EVgo card. I wonder if that will work. Well, let's try it. Yeah. Do you want to get out the adapter? Yeah. So uh, it looks like his charge board's broken. And it looks like this has been painted. Yeah. Yeah. What? Or waxed. Yeah, or waxed, but... Yeah, no, painted. Yeah, yeah this your car's been in an accident. Yeah, that's paint. That's overspray. Yeah. And probably why this is not working. Probably. Probably was had a hit back here. I don't like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we noticed his dash is a little wonky, too. This is not my car. Well, the car, those are, been five when I go years. to sell this, this is not my car. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kyle, do you want to do the honors here of plugging it in? Oh, we've got a message, or no, just a random post-it that means nothing, I think. And oh, and your latch isn't dropping there, because we manually opened yeah. the charge port. So that's yeah. not you gotta go into your app and, and open the charge port. So this is what we're talking about on yeah. Tesla's. It has a latch, and right now you can see it's up. That should be down when the charge port is open. Otherwise, you can't plug it in. Okay. Well, hold on. Where's the button to open charge port? Uh. It should be right here. Well, I think you can rearrange these. I don't know how you show all of them though. Okay. But well, also, you can spin this out so that way it actually sits flush a little bit. Yeah, and so that it actually functions. So we've got it plugged in there. 
I've got my physical EVgo card. Oh wait, this is not a Delta unit. On the yeah. Delta units, they combine the credit card reader and well, the RFID. I, the units definitely work. I think they're just offline charging parameters. I think they're just not connected to the app for some reason. I'm going to try a card after we see if this works. Yeah. And a card that's not linked to EVgo. Yeah. And see if they're accepting all. I think they would do that. Yeah. I, I, I think they... That would be too driver focused. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> Matching voltage. I've never seen it share these things before. No. There you are, 412 volts, 131, 138 amps already. Yeah. Why see is if it, it only doing 50 kilowatts though? Still. <laughs> we should be doing full, 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 uh, full Come on, days. Evigo. Why is charging so hard? <laughs> we just keep saying this. All right, let's move to a different one. Let's go down there. Yeah. Because this is only doing 57 kilowatts. We're yep. ramped up by now. Yeah, and I don't hear cable cooling going. No, it just kicked on. Oh, yeah, I hear it very slight. Yeah. That's right. That looks... That's yeah, that's not ramping. So, that's right. guess we'll switch stalls here. You want me to move? Yeah. All right, so we're going to try this station here. And I have an RFID that's for my apartment, not linked to EVgo at all, because I can't. Dave, you want to plug in? Then we'll sure. authenticate. I wonder if they're offline, if auto charge would even work. Maybe. Let's see uh, if they allow all. There's no way they do. Let's see if it's just that or... Uh, digging out the card there. Maybe? Still processing your wrong beat. Maybe? Is it gonna work? That's not promising. <laughs> Why is it suck? <laughs> I thought you said I could just plug and charge. Well, that's what I, mean. I came all the way to Miami you, for this. You have to go through this one process, and then you can just plug and charge. So basically, it first has to read your vehicle ID to then associate that with your account to then use that to authenticate. Yeah, so okay. you have to do the initial setup, and then you're good. Yeah. Okay. I, I, we're just. This is why you're setting it up, so you don't ever have to do this ever again. Oh, that's good. I think that one scan with your wrong card faulted it. Okay, so let's try canceling this. Yeah. You want me to unplug? Please. Yeah. Right. Oh, the charger's just totally bricked. No, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> well, let's light up and plug. Unlock charge port. Yeah. <laughs> or I think you can press the button. Yeah, you can press the latch button on yeah. the side. Yeah. 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 Okay. Light. Okay, so it says please plug in the connector. Let's so let's do that. Yeah, you have to press harder than that. Yeah, that right at the front of the port, there's a little button. Yeah, there's a, yeah. Oh, that's what that is? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you owned multiple Model S and X? Yeah, I never had to do that before. He just hits the supercharger button. Okay. <laughs> oh, now connection error detected. Uh-oh, please unplug the connector, wait 10 seconds. Oh, it's because we never took the CCS adapter off. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it probably is detecting resistance or something. I'm going to work out here. <laughs> right so I'm going to go here. I, un I unlocked it. Okay. So Did it, okay, okay, yep. Now, now take the adapter off. Nice. And okay. Now give it 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this is charging in America. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good to plug in again. Yep, we're back to the regular waiting screen. One. Alright. Two. Okay, we're plugging in. Three. Alright. Okay. Okay, let's try my EV Go card. Yay. Connecting to your vehicle. We can't really blame EVgo for that. They may not have like a fallback to look for a different RFID. No, but they should. They should give a like not authenticator or something because someone might try a non EVgo RFID. Yeah, sure, of course. Someone might try and tap their charge point. Uh, surfing card. Yeah. Checking cable safety, matching voltage. So this looks successful, I'd I say. Love that it walks you through what it's doing. Yeah. Probably nerdier than it needs to be, but we Let's appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. And look at this session details. Let's see if we're getting more power here. Uh, that's not we looking might be promising. In the same cabinet. Oh yeah, true. 
Because we've got the four cabinets over there. We know the car is preconditioned. It's toasty. It can take all the juice. I mean, we got 250 kilowatts like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and it's like 70 degrees out. Do you want me to move? Yeah. Let's yeah, let's move. Cabinet. All right. We're going to move over there and then try it again. All right. So we're going to try this again. We moved over to this. And these are a different cabinet. The more I'm hanging out with you guys, the less I'm enjoying this day. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the CCS world. Did you miss it? This is tough. I just want to get in my car and drive it. What the heck? Did you miss the CCS world, Dave? I don't miss the CCS world, but I bought two, this for $250. And I'm damn well going to get my money's worth. Now, so. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can see the orange peel of the paint. That oh, stop. No, really no it's, it's bad, actually. Stop. Should I call CarMax? Yeah. Call yes. They sold you a car that wasn't painted. This is not representative of what you bought. Okay, so oh, let's this, call them. This one yeah. The All right, let's 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 do some charging first. I'm all upset. <laughs> let's do some charging. Open the video with that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, so we're going to plug in. There we go. All right. Now let's authenticate. Oh, the list auto charge as one of the uh, methods to start it here, which is kind of cool. Nice. So we'll tap the card, connecting. That's promising. That authenticated really fast, almost suspiciously fast. Like it didn't actually authenticate. Okay, so maybe this one will work. With you. Yeah, I want to try this with a non EVgo RFID. So that's 2D1. What does this one say? So this is 2D2. So these two are a different cabinet than those two. Yeah, we're on a different system. Or er, two cabinets linked system. Yes. So now we should see different charging behavior. Yep. There yeah, we there we go. Now we're talking. So there's a cabinet that's operating at reduced performance. Or two in theory. Yeah. And, but now we're getting 260 amps. It could just be the car now just trying to figure it out. And then yeah. the car can request for it. I mean, 110 is nothing to necessarily complain about, but it should do way more than that. It's 150 at 50%. That's okay. Curve. Okay. So we should be doing, you know, 170 right now. Okay. But it's just kicking on cable cooling. And Tesla sometimes gets everything sorted at a low power level and then asks for more later on. So let's just give it a second to see. Yep. Cable cooling's ripping right now. Which it really shouldn't be necessary at only 261 amps. Yeah, but maybe it's for thinking it's going to get more. Okay. Yeah. Cables are nice and cool. Yeah, we got a nice breeze. Hopefully the audio is not too terrible. That's not I think looking the, promising. I think that's all the charge has given us. <laughs> uh, but better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, look at the handle on this thing. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, the, the Huber and Sooner logo is just gone. God. These cables, they look nice. That's about the only nice thing I can say about them. That's it. Still 111 kilowatts, so. I guess at this point we'll wait for the e-tron to leave and we'll do auto charge over there, but let's stop it. And I want to see if I can authenticate with a non EVgo card. Is there temperature sensors failing here? This is literally just a random RFID. I want to see if it's authenticating all or if to see if it actually has connectivity to the back end, or if it's only, um, actually authenticating real cards. <laughs> nice, nice chunk taken out of there. <sighs> Jaw seven. Oh, but here you can see the pins, like we were talking about at the jewel station. Yeah. So those two top pins, they're not yeah, necessary. Oh, they're not even there. there. Yeah. Interesting. Most CCS cables don't have those. So we're plugged in again. That beeped, so it read it. Let's see if it doesn't. It. I think they're smarter than that, Brandon. All right. That's probably good for them that they're smart yeah of course so but otherwise we'll wait for the e-tron and but continue on there, if we didn't have your ev go card is there any way we could activate this station no i don't think so uh Maybe we should charge point card let's try charge point and see if that works hey dad do you have your charge point card like your virtual card oh i'll charge my, my phone yeah. yeah i have it in my wallet assuming i have one. so for those that don't know charge point and ev go have roaming yeah. so in theory it should work these screens are just fine yeah I wonder what the date code is on these. So these are from 11, 27 to 2020. So probably installed sometime early 2021. And they're already failing on the screen. It's not great. 
Okay, so let me get it connected and then we'll activate with my uh, charger. I don't know if I have my wallet. I with your virtual I card? Got my virtual card. No, but I don't know if I have my wallet. Was oh, no need. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. So. No, reader is requesting payment. So, nope. Huh. His physical. Do you have a physical charge point card? Uh, well, yeah, let me dig it out. So I've got my physical charge point card. Let's see if this authenticates. Hopefully it didn't time out yet. Oh, there's another e-tron and a leaf is here now. So we're getting a bit of a oh, cue that's, here. But that's the sport back e-tron, right? Yeah. yeah, that doesn't seem to work. So it seems that you can only use any of these four stations plus one of the 100 kilowatts over there if you have a physical... Or credit card. Yeah. Well, we should try that actually. If you have a physical EVgo, let's try a credit card. Let's try Apple Pay, maybe. If you have a physical card you can try. Yep. Have your Apple card so it doesn't show anything. Yep. Perfect. Apple card just made for influencers it because it actually barely slides in because this is a little bit too Ugh. far out. Why is this so hard? I don't know. I hate these Nyax connections. And it just timed out. Look at this, I can't even get it out without bending it. <laughs> Someone really didn't think that through, did No, they? they clearly did not try that. So it seems that an EVgo physical card is... I think we can get it with a physical card. I'm going to give it one last try here. Okay, let's do it. In. This is every charge point operator's worst nightmare. Kyle and I at a station testing things. Oh, the <laughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> you see, this door is shut. Open. So you can see how that. Yeah, I have to like bend. Okay, okay, that's promising. Yeah, we're authorizing your payment, so I'm pretty sure you can use a uh, card. There. Okay, Next that seemed to work. Checking cable safety, and good to go. So yeah, you can use them, but for whatever reason, they're not connected to the app, which may we may have a wasted video here for my dad. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to want to wait for that one, but now there's another person over there. Yeah, under each one's trying to activate it with their app, but they can't connect to it, of course, because they all show as not yeah. able to connect. What's weird, though, is there must be some app communication because they're showing them as last used just a few minutes ago. Yeah. It doesn't really make any sense. No, I don't understand. So here we are charging up to 111 kilowatts, all good. And out of curiosity, how much did it pre-off? Let's see. 30 $30? Okay. Yep, 30 bucks. Okay, that seems like a pretty reasonable pre-off amount. Oh, we okay. Can help you. All right, we're so just taking a look here at this station, and it looks like it's on a screen calibration mode. So let's see if uh, the e stop does anything. Nope. <sighs> Why is this so hard? But Kyle's helping out this gentleman with this leaf. He's selling it to get a Tesla Model Three because he's so tired of charging. He'd rented one and had a great experience with it and has had nothing but trouble with the leaf and charging it and Chatamo and everything. And he lives in a building that has six broken level two chargers. <sighs> Why is this so hard? Pissed off here. Beetles are beeping. <laughs> you know it's a bad day when beetles are beeping. Just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but we got the leaf charging. We've moved over the Model S from these. So now we're going to set up auto charge on the one unit Marjorie that's connected and set up auto charge plus with the adapter here. And then after that, we're going to move over to these and see if it works because they're in kind of a semi connected state. Loaded in auto charge plus. The way we did that was by going in and actually adding the If you want to watch this whole process, you're going to have to watch the out of spec Dave video, but I'll show you here once we get it going and then we'll move over there. This is turning into quite the storm. We had to move the vehicle to get it closer to the cord. Hopefully we've got these uh, all intertwined here. Select Marjorie, Dad. So now we're going to activate okay, it. CCS Marjorie. Yeah. All please right. plug. No. Wait, please wait before plugging in. Is this the vehicle you wish to enroll in auto charge? Yes. Can I hit that? Of course. All right. Here we go. So this is the one time activation that we're doing right now. All right. And then we won't ever have to go through this 20 minute rigmarole ever again. Well, that's a good thing. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so far, I'm giving this like a C plus, you know what I mean? Oh, that's better than I'd give maybe it. A, maybe a, all right, maybe a C minus. <laughs> Typically, EVG is pretty good for me, but this is really not a great, not a great sight. It's my diet. And this isn't even that old. 
So when I did this, it worked uh, instantly. Of course it, it did. It could be because you have a poor cell connection here. I know you have large amount of LTE, but I couldn't even get any data on this Leaf guy's phone to get him connected. Do you both have T-Mobile? No. Um, I do. He does. Okay. You don't like T-Mobile? They're not yeah, great. <laughs> well, listen, you two are ragging on T-Mobile. T-Mobile's <laughs> pretty damn good. It's two major companies in one. Uh, two minor companies in one doesn't make two one major. Two minor companies add up to more than one major company. I don't think that's no? how that works. Error occurred. Retry. Retry. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll, should, yeah. we'll, should, we <laughs> should we unplug uh, a bug chat about man that I just plugged in? <laughs> he won't notice. <laughs> Look at him. He's got his feet up. He's on the phone. He's up to 65%, yeah, getting 29 kilowatt. Just unplug it. No, no, no that, that's the that emergency button. I'm going to hit No, no, no. no. We, we've got that a few times. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to another EVgo station. Try it there. Yeah. I like Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> all right. Well, let's run through some of the problems that we had here. Yeah, we had multiple different things going on at one particular station. And yes. the first was... Uh, you know, of course, app connectivity. We knew going yeah. on the way over there that only one station was active on the app. Which was fine. And, and we only needed one station. Yep. Uh, but unfortunately, that didn't work. So yep. <laughs> let's start. We knew there were uh, some connectivity to the app because it would show... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Ionic 5 passing us. On the left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Base nice. one. Base one. Base. Yeah. Yeah, because it's got the two lights on the bumper. Or the reverse lights on the bumper. SE. Yeah, I like those actually. Yeah, I think it looks cool. All right, back to the station. So five out of six were not connected on the app. Semi-connected. Because it would show previously yeah. used uh Which is so weird. Yeah, so so app issues. Yep. Number one. Number two, we get there and we activate the station with an EVgo card. Thankfully, mm -hmm. Brandon had his. Yep. And we uh, only got uh, you know fifty-seven ish, fifty-seven kilowatts. Yep. On yep. both both of those units that were linked to that charger pair. Yep. So on that has one an cabinet internal charger cabinet fault. Yep. Then we moved the car to the other two just to see if we can get more power. And we didn't yep. even get full power. We got 110-ish, 110 kilowatts. Yeah. But we know the car was asking for more than 500 amps. It yep. should have gone right up and given us over 200 kilowatts, but it did not do that. Yep. Uh, then now we decided to see five uh, you know, if we could pay with a credit card. And we found that the credit card reader is put in the wrong place where if you don't have a bendy credit card, like my Apple card's a metal card, yep. you can't really get it into the port because it just needs another three or four inches of light. And it's just not a good experience, it's even just, if it does work. Right. And it's not, it's a, I mean, Nyack's connections just suck. I really, yeah. they really suck. So then we go to, uh, you know, uh, can I, can get, I, can, you're telling me that somebody went to the trouble of putting a credit card reader on a machine and you couldn't fit your credit card into it. That's not correct. easily correct. That's ridiculous. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to charging. <laughs> So then the leaf rolled up and he couldn't get his credit card to read because he couldn't, the chat about wasn't sending the pilot signal that he was plugged in to stop yeah. the charge. So, we but he, moved, did, he did have a cute dog. He had a really cute dog. Yes. You know, the guy was great. He was yeah. cool. He's buying a Tesla. He's so pissed off. Yeah. He was in good spirits considering the scenario, <laughs> right. but he, yeah. yeah we but, saved him 15 grand. He was going to buy a used Tesla way too much money. Yeah. He was going to spend like 40 and change. We're like, no, go to Tesla. They're selling them for low thirties. Right. Yeah. So uh, we got him charging on the unit the e-tron was charging on. Yep. So they were doing simultaneous charging. Uh, we then tried to attempt to do auto charge plus, which, uh, you know, you have to use the app on a working station. So we moved over yep. once the e-tron left to the working station. And unfortunately, whenever we would hit, let's enroll this car, it would fault out and fail. Yep. Which I showed you guys. And that was pretty much it i think we tried pretty much everything we tried everything there's not there was only one station it was charging another car which yeah. is the only reason i'm thinking maybe uh you know auto charge failed is because the leaf was on there how about the audi sportback that just pulled up and like left yeah because their app wouldn't work yeah they probably tried to activate with the app and couldn't yep yeah because evgo can't send you cards right now 
there are a huge back order of, of RFID cards. So you, anyone new driving an electric car couldn't get a card to activate that station. You'd have oh, to use man. a credit card, which gives you a $3 activation fee. And I think they also charge you to even order a card, like $6 or something like that. All I know is they charged me $30 hold, which is reasonable. Yeah. And uh, But they charged us like $3.50 for like a half a kilowatt hour. At, at reduced power that we should have gotten. Yeah. And they're charging by time, which makes it even worse because if you're charging by kilowatt hour and you have reduced power, it's not the end of the world because you're still getting the same amount of same energy. Power. Right. Yeah. The same, right. But when you're charging by minute, you want to get as much power in during that minute as possible. I'd also like to point out we just passed about five Tesla superchargers on this drive. <laughs> <laughs> and they were empty? Yeah, they all have availability. Yeah. 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 Not five stalls, five locations. Wow. So we're headed to another EVgo. This is what, an older 50 kilowatt site, is that right? Yeah, we don't even know if they auto charge, but it's the only one on the way out of town and we have to get back to take a family photo. <laughs> yes, we do. Otherwise, out of spec mom will not be happy. Otherwise, oh. out of spec will be no more. This guy's getting pulled over in front of us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank goodness it's not me because I don't have my license with me. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a nice Tucson. Yeah. Oh. Get it right, it's Tucson. Tucson, I know. <laughs> that's right. We'll see you at the next EV Go. So we're trying out something else here. Do you know where his J1772 adapter is? No. Nope. Okay. But we found this, we're waiting for this leaf to finish here in just a few minutes. But this level two station is a SEMA Connect uh, Charge Pro. And it's done by EV Go. And it has just an EV Go sticker on it and it has if you go customer support just like stuck on but there I, but you can pay directly with this which you can't do with the dc fast charger yeah that's like a sema connect thing yeah this is all sema connect confirmed. oh that's look at this can every charger just be that this is the way it should be <laughs> look at that. done let's plug in <laughs> did we just witness a miracle here holy smokes <laughs> it's the future <laughs> done green authorized ready to charge now let's see, are we charging? Let's see, is this a 30 amp, 32 amp? Uh-oh, there's a warning. Charging uh -oh. equipment communications error. Try uh. again or different equipment. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on. Let's... Dave, you gotta watch out with this floor mat here. What's that? Your floor mat's not uh, secured. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's better. Now it's blue. Yep, that's promising, maybe. Uh, I think I need to reactivate the station. Okay, so it looks like it's waiting for authentication. So maybe we just did it in the wrong order, potentially. Pay with plug share. Pay. Confirm charge. Blue. Yeah, maybe you got to plug then charge. That Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, seems reasonable. Good. Confirming payment method. Authorizing. And this it did a $30 pre-auth. That went green. And this went black. I'm going to have like a million dollars of free authorization. And another charging equipment communication error. And Tesla normally works with pretty much everything. They, they yeah. never have major issues with this stuff. They're usually actually pretty lenient with a lot of things yeah. in my experience. Like, even if it's not plugged in all the way, it'll just reduce current to reduce the arc flash potential. Are the pins damaged? Or? It says waiting for vehicle, so it doesn't even know it's plugged How in. How are the pins looking? Is that fully latched? Let's see. I don't want to break the CCS connection or the J1772 connection. It says done charging. So it knew there must have been some communication. Yeah. Because it knew I unplugged it, even though I kept this connected. Mm hmm. Uh, I mean, oh, it doesn't. Uh, no, but that shouldn't interrupt it, but it looks like there's some corrosion on the pins, potentially. Well, it is salty around here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's that. <laughs> well, I must say, the authentication process for that was great. <laughs> But it doesn't work. <laughs> I swear, we're not going out of our way to find things that don't work. We're just using things like a normal person. <laughs> Look at the turkeys. Charging such a turkey. <laughs> so Leaf is gone and we're going to be filming the activation here, as I said. Check out Out of Spec Dave if you want to see the whole video, the whole process here. And hopefully it works on this 50 kilowatt older ABB EVgo unit. Okay, so here we are somewhere north of where we just were because it didn't work over there at the EVgo. So we came over here, and this is only a 50 kilowatt, but we don't... Wow, it seems we actually have success this time, maybe. Make that clip. Let's see if this okay. goes. All right. And I am 
going to plug it in. There we go. We have ignition. Houston, do we have a problem? We're still blue. Give We're it a still moment. blue. Check your app, Dad. Check my app. That should give you real time status. Enrolling in auto charge. We are pairing a unique vehicle ID to your account. I like this. This is. So we just set up auto charge. Now we're trying it to see if it works again. <laughs> now you're getting the like photo pose stance to plug in the car. We're now off the communicating, flashing blue. It's thinking. Do we have to touch anything on the charger? I don't think so, right? Uh, no, no, it looks, it's authenticating, I okay. think. We're flashing blue, flashing blue. Are, are we going to go green? That's the question. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it worked! It only took four hours! <laughs> yeah! Now you never have to open the EV go out Who there. needs Tesla? <laughs> no, but we forgot to time it. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, It was not six seconds. It was longer than six seconds. It was four hours versus six seconds. Right, no, that's no. true. I would say. <laughs> well, listen, I will tell you, all kidding aside, it's nice to know that I can pull up now from this point forward. With an, to any EVgo, well, to any EVgo that does support. I'm gonna stop charging. So Rob, uh, I wanna thank you for coming along. You and I have known each other for how many years now? 30? Five? 30, yeah. Well, when I've been married 33 years. 30. I've known you 32 years, mm -hmm. okay? okay? And we've done a lot of things in our life together. <laughs> but have you ever done something like we did today? This what, what, was unique. This was yeah. unique, right? Amazing, very There's, good day. And, and what I would say is that with Kyle and Brandon, both in the car at the same time, I was like looking up into the clouds, into the ether to figure out what the conversation was. I did pick up quite a bit of things. I did learn okay. some things. That's good. And um, so I appreciate Brandon, your patience with try. me. Because someone else in the back seat there maybe isn't as patient with me sometimes. I mean, he's had to spend his whole life with you, yeah, so know, there, there's a different dimension I, there. I, I get it. I get it. And he has the all... The only time I'm impatient, really, is when you start going off on a track that I know is not going anywhere, so I just <laughs> want to redirect you onto the correct path. Of no, but, I mean, there are certain things I think you get impatient with me sometimes, perhaps when I ask the same question four times in a row. Or 40. Right, you know. Which is like, how does power work? <laughs> there was a conversation nah, I just, I, you know what, Kyle? It's it's all good. It's yes. all good. But Brandon, it's been great finally meeting. Yeah, you. I feel like you we know, know each other, I, even I, though I, we met for the first time I, today. I, I no, it's so strange how you, when you you see someone on YouTube or, <laughs> and you get to know sort of everything about them, their inflections and what have you. So, especially but, like both directions, I feel like that's not normally the case. Cause like yeah. you get recognized sometimes i get recognized sometimes and it's sometimes a little weird that like someone knows you but you don't know them yeah <laughs> yeah it's true it is it is true but yeah today was good it was interesting i did not think it would be as difficult to accomplish what we accomplished but i would recommend uh to anyone to subscribe to this service at evgo uh for the auto charge uh that feature way you never have to deal with the app right, right. you never have to deal with the yeah. app again uh, buy the CCS adapter. Again, this is this is the unit for. Um, I mean, if you have a Tesla and you mm -hmm. need you, you need this unit, it's two hundred. As long as your vehicle is enabled for it. If it's enabled, retrofit for it, will it, be coming. It has to be. You you can you can figure that out if you go into your if you go into your menu. I won't go through it, but in the software, you yeah. go to the details. You can see whether or not your CCS enabled. But I mean, it, that that feature is unique for Tesla, correct? No. So, so if I had a GV60, could I, work. I could enable yes. auto charge. Yes. Auto charge. Yeah, you well. should. And, and I would do that as the same exact process that we went through today. But you would have to do it additionally, yes. Uh, yeah. So then I would have two cars in the app and I would choose which car. Yeah, I, you would just plug in. Well, you'll have to add another no, car saying, to, the, to, to the app. Add, right, so the initial top, the, yeah. the first time I do it, I have to add mom's car. Yes. Right. Then never again. So then that'll never. be a future video on that spec name. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm going to do that alone without you two guys? I don't know. I think we added a lot of confusion, actually. Probably. Because we were trying to figure out what was going on, what the problems were. And yeah. We're a normal person. It's either it does work or it doesn't work. And, and then you move on. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Rob, would you be able to help me do this if we were going to activate this on one of your cars? You have a Model Y and a Model 3. Would you? Do you think you would be able to help me? Uh, or? My now turn is here on to West State Road. Right. I think so. Right. And in theory, it should work the first time, like when we went to the second station. Right. And that was pretty easy. That was easy, yes. Yeah. I would agree with that. 
I think we selected the first time we went through there. I think you might have selected Chatamo or maybe Tesla no, instead. No, I think we selected the wrong the wrong station. No, oh. we did not. Oh, we okay. didn't? No. Okay. Well, whatever. It worked the second try. And if it takes two tries at the same location, that's not the end of the world. It's when you have to try multiple units. That's when it gets annoying like what we did today. But it is worth setting up. Yeah, definitely. Florida, I'm glad. And also the cost, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, was only, was it 33 cents a kilowatt hour? Uh, I think it's 24 cents a minute is the discounted Tesla plan that they're offering free for three months. They don't buy oh, they don't? Uh, only in some states they do. And not, Florida's not one of them. Yeah. Neither is Connecticut. Yep, okay. All right, but look, optionality is the key word. Yep. The ability to be able to plug and charge, auto charge, whatever you want to call it. And you had to, to, sorry to interrupt, you had to hit EV go stations occasionally. Yes, I have. On road trips. Yes. Yep. I remember in Tampa once at a Dunkin' Donuts with Katie and <laughs> uh, and her roommate. Uh, and, and they were just waiting for me. And yeah. that thing, it was only a 50 kill. I actually needed. Was that an Ionic 5 road trip or a 94 road trip? Uh, that was an ID. I, I was an Ionic Five. Okay. Yeah, it was an Ionic Five. In one mile. Keep and, your to stay on. The and you know, I I, I needed the charge. Yeah. I, I really did. So it's better than a tow truck. Better than a tow, which we did see today. <laughs> From right. Tesla. From te yeah. Tesla. Yeah. So, We've seen it all today. I mean, the Hertz rental guy. Do you think he's going to rent another uh, another Tesla after this? Uh, if we hadn't talked to him, probably not. Hopefully, since we talked to him, it maybe gave him a bit of a confidence boost. He'll give it another chance right well, they gave him the car with 50 percent charge yeah so they kind of set him up for failure oh they gave him the car with 50 percent yeah like 56 percent, i think he said something like that hmm. did not, they, not ideal did they tell him not to charge below nine percent i don't <laughs> think they told him anything would be my guess i think that was a very specific situation yeah no i and don't it sounded like he took the last one they had and agreed to the lower state of charge on departure Right. But still, I, yeah. I wouldn't generally recommend that to most people. Like, if Kyle or I or you showed up and wanted to rent one and they told us it's at 50%, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But uh, actually, give it to me at like 20%. I want to go charge it. But yeah. no, I mean, like, when I rented my Hertz, why? They gave it to me at 86% state of charge. Yeah, I think anything was over fine. 80 or even maybe 70 yeah, is probably I think, fine. I agree. 50% is low. Yes, yeah. definitely low. Well, Brandon, thank you for uh, coming along on this adventure today. It certainly has been more of an adventure than I expected for accomplishing one thing. That's how every day goes. Welcome to Outspec. Yeah, I think I commented once on one of your videos, Kyle, that there's never a dull day in the life of Kyle. And uh, yeah, that holds still, true. Still continues. Yep. All yep. right. See you on the next one. All right. Bye-bye, everyone.